So if you know my backstory on how I got into music production, beat making, you know that I started on a music generator too, on a PlayStation. If you're looking to take it to the next level, looking to up your game, the MTV Music Generator 2, 2 is for you. PlayStation 2, this was all the way back in 2001. I heard, I've got to get through this from Daniel Bedingfield, and I heard that he made it in his bedroom. So I thought, yeah, I can do that. I want to do that as well, because these times I was inspired by Missy, Timberland, and all these other dope producers. Because back then I didn't really listen to, when I listened to songs back then I didn't, taking the lyrics i wasn't really listening to the lyrics i was just more into the beat the bass and how the beat made me feel bought the music generated 2 for playstation i think it was about 39.99 something like that and i honestly thought i was going to be the next timbo but there was so much for me to learn <laughs> so so much for me to learn what's going on it's casey welcome back to my channel hope you're well some of them deals on for black friday was crazy so i wanted to do a video for Black Friday, showing you some good places to get some good deals and stuff, but couldn't because of schedule. So I'm putting it, I want to put it down to next year, Black Friday, so I'm going to drop a video on stuff that you should get. But there's a link in the description below. Plugin Boutique is the way to go, because it's got like everything there. So instead of you having to go to all these different sites to check out the deals, just go to Plugin Boutique, not sponsored, <laughs> and see what they've got. There's always, there's always deals. One of the best things that I picked up, well, I picked up quite a few decent stuff. And one of the best things I picked up was this free instrument from Spitfire Labs. So I'm going to use that for making a beat today. It's nice. Link in the description. Get it too. Got some cool sounds. So today's video is five music production mistakes that you want to avoid. Especially if you're just starting out making beats. You could be, if you are making these mistakes that I've mentioned, then try and avoid them and get your production up to the next level. So as I mentioned, I've been making beats since 2001 and made a lot of mistakes. I still make mistakes. I'm, I'm human. I'm not perfect. No one is. So yeah, I just want to share with you the production mistakes that I've made. And if you're making them as well, cut them off. Before we do that though, quickly shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out Guadison and Aaron102. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate the sub. It means a lot. Thank you for being part of the community. Hope you get some value from the videos that I've been putting out. And I hope you've hit that notification bell as well because you would have realised that you've been shouted out today if you hit that notification bell. Favourite comment for this week? I had quite a few decent ones. A shout out Ranjar for the comment this week. Hope I pronounced your name right, bro. If I haven't, my bad. So yeah, that mixing tip that I shared with you, it's not my trick. It's just an industry trick that doesn't get spoken, spoke about much. So yeah, I'm just happy to share. And and help you to level up on your mixes. All right, we've done that. Let's get into this video. So one of the mistakes that I see producers make is too many sounds in the beat. I've made this mistake so many times. I like melodies, I like to fill out my beats and stuff, but then if you're trying to give the beat to an artist, you've got to think, how's the artist going to fit into this beat? Four, five, six melodies, and there's no space for the, the artist to do their thing. A lot of production is just how you feel. So for me, I like to have like a melody and a counter melody, and maybe some other little bits of air candy just going in and out, but not too repetitive. Just try and pay particular attention to how many sounds you're putting into your beat because don't forget you've got your drums, you've got your percussion, you've got your harmony, you know, your bass, you've got counter melodies, you've got melodies, you've got a lot of stuff going on. So if you're 
trying to make an artist fit or an artist who's trying to, to get their self to fit in the beat when they're hearing it on your website or wherever it, or if you've sent it to them to check out chances are they ain't going to be able to fit on the beat you don't have to make it too sparse but for, i know for some people sparse beats work and they sell quite well i think my best selling beat doesn't have that much sounds in it and if you used to ask me if that's my favorite beat i would say no because i prefer beats with a lot of stuff going on but yeah so tip one too many sounds going on in your beat second production mistake from producers that i see is reverb too much reverb on sounds that you just don't need to be putting that much reverb on as i mentioned these are things that i've done in the past you're new to production you're new to to hearing certain things reverb especially like i said before, before in one of my videos it makes it sound amazing so it is it's easy to just get carried away with it and just drench your sounds in reverb so if you can stay away from doing that watch a few videos on understanding reverb and what it does to your sound there's loads of videos out there that will break down what reverb is doing to your sound and how you can use that to your advantage to make your music sound special so that's that's the second thing tip two it's not really a tip is it <laughs> all right that's the second thing so the third thing that i noticed that i've done and producers are new producers are doing there's no structure to the beat still so the beat's just going all the way through no intro no verse no hook no breakdown if that's what you do but don't get me wrong there, there's beats out there there's beats out there that just like freestyle beats i've had artists come recently recording beats that's just the same all the way through and that's fine there is a place for that but if you're trying to create beats for artists who like to have different variations in in their music then different sections in beat will help i like to do intro normally i go intro hook short hook verse and then back into hook the reason why i do that is because if i put it on on insta i don't want to go from the intro to the verse because i don't feel like it's got that punch or that impact so m most of the time i will put intro and then bang straight into the hook but then if the artist comes and says they want want to change the structure then that's fine i don't mind i don't mind that if it's obviously if they bought the exclusive or they bought track outs but not with the, the normal mp3 release we don't do that the full thing again i'm guilty of it wanting to get new shiny plugins thinking that if you get that next sound or that one particular synth or plugin it's going to take your beats up up a notch next level logic pro's got some fire simps in there some dope simps alchemy being one of them can do so much of that don't get sucked in to thinking that you've got to have the latest and best simp sounds and plugins it's a trap no, but honestly just get used to what you're using at the moment when you get your beats to a certain level and budgets allowing you to step up to get third party plugins and do that but for now don't worry too much about getting new plugins and trying to get the latest because you've heard such and such uses this plugin and it's, it's not going to do you any favors i feel like this this bent. that's the full thing chasing plugins chasing new plugins chasing the shiny new plugins don't fall into that it's a trap so the fifth thing i see producers doing new producers is starting beats and not finishing the beats so you've got like a whole catalog of beats your hard drive is full to capacity because you've got untold beats on there that you haven't finished off as soon as i started finishing off my beats it's like something something changed i don't know i can't explain it it might sound stupid i've got yeah i've got beats on there that I haven't finished obviously because you start an idea and then you're kind of not feeling the idea and then you go back to it and yeah so if you can get into the habit of finishing beats you're going to see a major difference in your production you're going to see a difference in just your, in yourself because once you start something and you finish it you know that you're capable of doing it it's a mindset thing as well which i'm going to do a video on five things that we do as producers yeah five producer mentality mistakes so that so that video will be coming next week so keep an eye out for that one something happens i don't i can't explain it I can't even put it into words but it's like meeting deadlines some people can't meet deadlines some people get deadlines and they'll leave it to the last minute and they, and they don't get it done and they've rushed the job but if you start a beat and you finish that beat and you've, and you've got that done and then you put that on your website then that's that's got to be a good thing because then you can just forget about that one Put it out there give it to artists if they want if you if that's what you're trying to do put it on your website get it up get an artist on it make it your own single it builds a momentum for you to start creating things and finishing them 
so you can see the, the final product. And this is what we're doing, this is what it's about, starting things and finishing them and sharing them with the world, sharing your gifts and your talents. So the synth I was using just then for that beat was called Spitfire Labs. Comes with a lot of cool free stuff, so hit that link in, in the description below and get it. They give away some cool free sounds. Guitars, pianos, pads, all, all types of stuff. And they all sound good. So those are my five things on production mistakes that I see a lot of producers making, new producers. Like I said, I made them, them mistakes. So if you can avoid them from now, then that's gonna save you time. It's a good thing. I forgot to mention, I've almost reached 6K subs and I'm gonna be dropping a video to say thank you and there will be a giveaway. So if you've made it to the end of this video, you will know that there's a, a giveaway coming up in my 6K thank you video. <laughs> How much time is I gonna save video? Yeah, so that'll be coming up soon. So if you made it to the end of this video, then I appreciate that. If you've got any comments, just drop a comment below or you've got a question to ask me, hit me up direct on Insta. DM me on Insta. Always happy to help, my DMs are always open. If you like this video at all, hit the like button. If you like this sort of videos, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.